Well, since we're stuck here, might as well be productive. You, you gonna be my helper? The other two are sleeping in a bedroom, but might as well do something productive. Let's get to work on this engine model. I Welcome back folks. And once again, the lovely people from Engine DIY sent me an incredible model right here. And this was their difficult one. It's also gonna be their one of the most expensive ones too. But don't worry, they do have affordable ones too that are 3D printed. So if you are an aviation enthusiast and you love putting puzzles together and models, I definitely recommend this. So I will leave all the details and all the links down in the description. So without further ado, come on, let's go, time to build. Unit comes very well packaged and I even had to go buy a brand new table for this because the last model I built, I built it on the floor and trust me, I will never do that again. Instruction manual is absolutely incredible and one word of advice, follow the instructions to the T. So the type of engine this is, is quite unusual because the way the manual says it, it belongs either on a 320, a 737 or a C919. But the initial picture and the design of it resembles almost like a GENX. I think it's a bit of a blend of two or three engines, a CFM Leap 1B or a CFM 56-7B and a GENX. Imagine all getting all those engines together, this would be its offspring. Everything is included in the kit, even the tooling. But word to the wise, be careful when using the tooling. It is small components, so they will be susceptible to breaking. That's why I bought even a backup pair of uh, Allen keys. That's not their fault, that's my fault. That's operator error. Me thinking like I'm wrenching on a real engine. Also, all the hardware comes very nicely packaged. Everything is well labeled. The amount of detail they put into this engine model is quite astonishing. There's a reason why it has such a high price tag. It's because of good craftsmanship. So, progress report. So far, so good. I haven't I managed not to break any of my tools yet. But yeah, we got the fan together. You can actually, when I turn it, you can actually feel air coming out the back end. That's pretty cool. Of course you're more interested in the box. Why wouldn't you be? <laughs> we begin by assembling the main shaft, the fan blades, and then moving on to the first rotor stage and the second rotor stage. This is part of the low pressure compressor. I'm gonna go back to saying how much detail they put into this. You have to install every single blade by hand. Take note of the orientation of the blades. Manual even calls out for it. You install it incorrectly, it's not gonna fit right. This is one of those type of models where if you make a mistake and down the line you catch it, guess what? You have to take everything apart once again. So you gotta do it right the first time because if you don't, it's gonna be like taking two steps forward and 15 steps back. So once again, follow the manual, pay attention to what you're doing. I'm sure you guys have been watching the news and there's lots of fires going on in Los Angeles. Pay attention to the screen. Do you see that orange hue or the light that's coming through? Yeah, that's not a pretty sunset. Those are the fires happening in the distance. But I don't want you to worry. Everybody is safe in my family. We didn't get too much affected by it. There's lots of smoke and ash everywhere. But the wonderful people of Los Angeles Fire Department has pretty much uh, put these things out. Got done putting together the high pressure compressor case and now we actually build the high pressure compressor itself. After which we move on to the combustion chamber and then we're gonna be installing the fuel nozzles. Okay, progress report. So, so far so good. We got a bunch of cases built, a couple of the turbine sections, the com portion of the compressor section. I got the combustion chamber all done up here. Looking good. Got the fuel nozzles in there. Another disc, blisk ready. And this one is about to start going together right now. So yeah, this is a complicated model, <laughs> but so far so good. We're trucking along. I haven't broken anything, thank goodness. And yeah. This is the assembly of the turbine section. All the stators go in piece by piece and same as the compressor, the discs and all the blades have to be installed individually.
I found this really fascinating right here. They went into so much detail. I know I keep saying a lot of detail, but it's a lot of detail. They even got the active clearance control tubes right. This is what helps the case expand and contract due to the high temperatures of the turbine section. Once that's done, now we move on to the gearbox. The kit comes with basically everything, like I said before, has all the gearing, even has bearings. A quick side note, if you are putting this together, make sure to lubricate it before you install it completely. If you want me to do a little operational check, make sure the motor is turning, so let's do that right now. Put that on, let's see now. Something's wrong. Not turning. Did I do something? Oh, there it goes. It was just seized up a bit. Off check, good. Whoop. Like I said, don't make the same mistake as I did. Lubricate it before you put it together. Some grease or WD-40 will do just fine. I got the stand together and now we move on to assembling the fan case. And just like in reality, in real engine manufacturers, this is exactly how they build engines. They stack them. They'll reach a certain portion of the engine build, then they will turn it horizontally. And this is where it comes down to the real fun part of the build where everything starts coming together. You start stacking it up and it starts looking like a real engine. As you can see, I stuck the screwdriver or the, one of the tools right into the foam because guess what? I broke it. This is why I bought the backup tools, the Allen keys. By the way, this thing is not small. It's a big engine model and it's heavy too. This thing almost weighs 12 pounds. Well, folks, guess what? We did it. There is your final beautiful product. Man, this thing came out gorgeous. Sorry, I got a little bit of WD-40. I had to lube it up a bit. But look at this thing. Beautiful. There it is. Got the spin. It was my fault. <laughs> Didn't have it charged up enough. But yeah, there it is. I want to show you guys this in the daytime so it looks much, much better. And there you have it, folks, a completed model. It's absolutely gorgeous. I enjoyed building it. It was actually much easier than the F-35 engine. Big shout out to Engine DIY. Thank you so much for your generosity and sending this out to me. And I'm more than happy to put it together and to showcase it for you guys right here. But yeah, thank you for watching. Take care.